Hi everyone, Flint here, and welcome to Elite Dangerous. In the background you'll see some footage from the game, while I take the chance to talk about it, what's good and not so good, what problems I encountered, and what's motivating me to search success within the great universe called Elite Dangerous. Please note at this point that this video should not be taken as a full review of the game. I'm only playing it for a short time so far and I definitely just scratched the surface and so I do not dare to judge it in a way that is, at least in my opinion, appropriate for a review. Anyhow, I think the first questions to be answered should be what is Elite Dangerous and what makes the game interesting. First things first, Elite Dangerous is an open world, or better open galaxy, sandbox space simulation with an economical system, including space combat. I think what needs to be pointed out here is the word simulation. If you, for example, take games like Freelancer or EVE Online, you might notice a big difference between them and Elite. In the latter you will find an actual representation of star systems, where the planets correctly orbit their stars and stations and moons orbit their parent planets, so to speak. In practice this means that they've changed the position every time you revisit the specific system. Within the aforementioned games the location is fixed, so if you take Freelancer for a closer comparison here, you'll find that these fixed locations are necessary because of the intergalactic highways which are built between planets in major facilities. So the design choice to have fixed locations is completely understandable. Furthermore, there are dedicated points to enter or leave systems which are accompanied by the mechanic that only specific systems are connected. You will not find this with an elite. Even though you are entering systems by dropping out of hyperspace at the central star, you are free to choose from where you drop in or where you will go to respectively. Please note here that my intention is not to criticize other games like Freelancer or EVE. But let's go on. There are plenty of different possible career choices. You can be a trader, a bounty hunter, a pirate, a mercenary, an explorer or a combination of these professions. Of course, pirate and bounty hunter sounds quite odd, but it might be possible as well to be this at the same time. So basically the game is about you, the player. And that's part of the answer to question number two. The game is interesting, or for me interesting, because you are the one shaping your experience. There is no storyline to follow, like in many first person shooters for example. You are no super world saving hero, no dragonborn or some kind of supernatural entity. You are a regular normal guy or girl trying to make a living, so to speak. The only thing the game provides you are the mechanics that enable you to build your kind of player experience, your future within the game. And for me, personally, that's the crucial point why I was and am attracted to Elite Dangerous. For example, I liked Freelancer, which I mentioned earlier. And as a matter of fact, I loved it back in the days. I loved flying around, trade goods and explore every bit and every corner of the universe around me. And that's the feeling Elite has but only on a much larger scale. You're not limited to a small amount of star systems, but you have the whole galaxy to explore. 400 billion stars within this galaxy. You have galactic nebulas, you can find things like neutron stars or black holes, and even Sagittarius A, the central black hole within our Milky Way, is included and free to explore basically. But as in every game you have to start somewhere. Of course here it's mandatory to learn the ship controls including piloting, fighting, landing and so on. And this is all pretty complex. Since the game takes place in 3D space 
you have to control the movement in all three major directions plus the rotation of the spaceships around them. To get into this you have to have tutorials and usually games provide tutorials. Unfortunately that's the first point for criticism. Moving your spaceship is explained in the YouTube video. That's it. Of course there are tutorial missions where you can practice what you've been told but I think it would be far better if there would be an own dedicated flying tutorial like in other games where they tell you what button to press to get the wanted outcome. Such a tutorial is included for launching, traveling to other systems and landing at a starport. So why is it not possible to extend this to all aspects? I really do hope we, the community and especially the new players, will see improvements at that point in the future. Some people also criticized that the galaxy appears to be somewhat sterile and inhabited by people only capable of communicating in, in a written form, basically. While this does not bother me personally too much, I can completely understand that. So it would also be great if the devs might pick up an idea published by a guy called Vindicator Jones to include some kind of station radio. He posted a video on this which is really good and I provided the link in the video description down below for you. But enough rant so far. So let me talk about things I like. Basically it comes down to the freedom I mentioned earlier. I like to trade and to be responsible for my fate within the game. For example, in most cases it's my own fault if I'm destroyed, probably because my opponent was stronger than I anticipated it in the first place or I fly into a planet and explode or I just bump into things. Another huge thing for me is to travel around and see awesome places, which, if we are honest, will surely be impossible during our lifetime since we are basically pinned here on planet Earth. Furthermore, the recent findings in the Pleiades Nebula amaze me. Obviously, Frontier has the talent to feed the community with the little bits and pieces of information to create a mystery for the players to solve. So I'm really looking forward to the things to come in the future, like the avatars for missions, the possible appearance of the mysterious Thargoids or maybe some other alien species and of course the multi-crew feature for spaceships. Just imagine to control a ship like for example the Anaconda together with your friends. So, in summary, I think that Elite Dangerous is a special game for special players and by special I mean players beyond the I like to play like 30 minutes every now and then in the evening since you have to invest some time. For example, I spent a whole evening just with the tutorials and learning to fly and you have to invest effort, but I guess that's kind of normal for an MMO especially for an MMO with this kind of scale. Also I think that the game has a huge potential for further development and more interesting features even though certain flaws are still present. So if you're interested in space simulations and huge scales, maybe this game is worth it for you. With this being said, I just would like to thank you for your time and see you in space. Flint out.